Hello, a day with Caleb. Today we are talking about the new the new theme park coming to Orlando, Universal's. I guess technically their fourth park, if you count their uh, Volcano Bay, their the water park, but their third, uh, I guess theme park, and their first expansion in in some time since uh islands of adventure unless you count volcano bay but uh they you know ever since this announcement when they bought up that land i have been eagerly awaiting updates and uh bio reconstruct and then uh theme park stop have kind of been updating me, not every week, but almost every week since they broke ground, uh, and it's, it's coming, it's, it's almost here, I'm so hyped, uh, growing up, uh, being a Universal Monsters fan, actually, I guess the parks technically turned me on to that. We went in the early 2000s, Universal Islands. We would stay at Westgate, uh, if you remember that resort, and they would do the, sell these timeshares. Our parents would get free tickets. So we went to Universal. They had props from the Mummy film, which had just recently been in theaters, uh, you know, it released in 1999, I think we went in 2000, but they had props in the horror and makeup show, so when we went back, we rented The Mummy, because we were excited to see it after seeing props, and I think they had a set or something, uh, you know how your memory is, I, I want to say there was a set of the tomb or something there uh i could be wrong but uh pop the mummy in and it had previews for the wolfman dracula the original mummy creature from the black lagoon all those were previewed on there and that's kind of how i became enamored with all those movies lon cheney jr the silent black and white horror films, you know, all the universal uh, horror. So I am really excited for Dark Universe, and the video they released uh, makes me even more excited. I could not be more excited. Uh, when they had the Universal Monsters Cafe, I would go in there, sit by, usually sit by Wolfman or Creature, sometimes the Dracula section, but the food was okay, but I would go in there because, you know, I, I wanted to soak in that Universal Monsters. Then the, the Beetlejuice Graveyard Review, I do remember vaguely watching that, uh, when, when it was out, uh, so that was fun. Then How to Train Your Dragon, that area, that looks fun. A really great uh, trilogy. Uh, the second one, really sad. <laughs> uh, very, very sad. But the trilogy, great trilogy, that looks like a phenomenal land. And they just, hopefully I can find a picture, uh, they just did drone testing for a dragon over Epic Universe, which hopefully they uh, do that throughout the day or, you know, once or twice a day. That would be awesome. Disney, they did that opening fantasy land. They had a dragon fly over one-time thing for uh, the opening of Galaxy's Edge, they had these big X-Wing uh, planes that would fly over drones. Uh, 
that was a one-time thing, supposed to be ongoing, uh, but hopefully this is a different company, Universal, so hopefully they'll fly, dr how cool would that be, you're in How to Train Your Dragon, Olive Burke, and a dragon flies over as you're surrounded by dragons, I think that would be so cool as a kid, and even me, uh, not a big kid at heart, so those two lands, then in the middle celestial park with that roller coaster, you have the carousel that's kind of around water, above water, those look really great, so those are three lands, the wizarding world, uh, both the show and the ride, the kind of elevator moving ride, both of those look great. Uh, I was blown away the first time I went to Diagon Alley. I didn't know where it was, so I would add, I asked the conductors who are right there for the train, but obviously stayed in character, so they didn't tell me. But I saw people going into this alleyway, and I went in there, and I was blown away uh, by the immersion of the land. Even though I did really, really enjoy Jaws the Ride, Confrontation, Back to the Future, uh, Twister Ride It Out, T2 3D, all those great attractions, but Diagon Alley... Uh, immerse you into that land. Hopefully this uh, new addition to that is uh, just as immersive. They say the buildings are actually to size. You know, sometimes they, they uh, do forced perspective where the building is getting smaller and smaller so it looks bigger even though it's maybe not as big. Disneyland, their castle, uh, very, very small. Uh, comparative to Magic Kingdom, which is, I think, right at 200 feet. I think if it's over 200 feet, you need a flashing light for planes. But I'm, I'm not sure as far as Disneyland's height it's below 200, I know that, but comment down below. Then the Nintendo World uh, looks phenomenal. I'm excited to uh, go on the Mario Kart attraction. Growing up, we would play that all the time on Super Nintendo. Uh, more recently, Switch. Uh, Love that game. Uh, Rainbow Road, still the hardest to master. But such a fun game to play. And I'm hoping the ride is just as fun. And probably my most anticipated, uh, besides the Dark Universe stuff, is the Donkey Kong attraction. Me and Josh would play that trilogy of games over and over and over until we wore the the cartridges out. Uh, if you're not familiar, Super Nintendo, older games and Nintendo, you would have to kind of blow in the cartridge, put it in, and press power, and hopefully it turned on, you know, kind of a roll of the dice sometimes when it would turn on or not work, um, but going and jumping the track like you do in the game as an attraction is mind-blowing <laughs> to think about. Living out those uh, nin Super Nintendo dreams when you were in the game playing it, now you can actually experience it in real life you know you're not actually jumping a track there's there's a 
a connection. There's a bottom like a base with wheels, and you're at the top. And it looks like you're on your own, but you're not. But to actually feel like you're jumping the track, that's going to be phenomenal. And have I, have I missed any lands? We did Celestial Park. We did Nintendo. We did Wizarding World. We did Dark Universe. How to Train Your Dragon. I think that is the lands. Well, Celestial Park. So that's six, yeah. So I I'm pretty confident that <laughs> that is all the lands. So comment down below your thoughts. Uh, this is my uh, closing day, or closing uh, year, I guess. The uh, Poseidon's Fury, that was always a cool attraction with the water tunnel. That was always so neat to walk through. Uh, in the show, you know, it, especially the end with the screens, maybe didn't age well, but I did love that water tunnel. Tell me your thoughts on Epic Universe. What are you most excited for? What land are you going to first when Epic Universe opens? I'm going directly to Dark Universe, not even stopping, going directly there <laughs> and getting scared because uh, it is rumored to be the main attraction to be very scary. So we'll see. And then I'll probably go to Nintendo Land, ride Donkey Kong, and then do the, the other lands. Uh, but, you know... Right at five years, almost over five years since I've been eagerly uh, waiting and anticipating this uh, theme park, uh, a whole theme park ready to go, uh, and then kind of pairing that with Islands and Universal. Universal has the mummy my favorite attraction in Universal, then Islands, Spider-Man will always be my favorite, number one favorite character Spider-Man, number two keeps Stanley's legacy alive, and number three it molds screens with practical sets, which I love, and is a great attraction. And usually uh, not a terribly long way. You can do single. But let me know your thoughts about Epic. Are you excited? Are you going to go uh, experience the theme park? Or do you not, you know, do you not, are you not a big theme park person? Let me know down below. Until next time, uh, counting down to Epic Universe and keep collecting.